Ronald McDonald houses give families a place to stay when their children are sick and getting medical care. And this holiday season, you can help those families through their donation drive. Jill Ivanacek joins us now. She oversees the Ronald McDonald House charities in the upper Midwest. Jill, thanks for being with us. Oh, thanks for having me. Jill, can you tell us a little bit about the Giving Tree program? The Giving Tree program is an opportunity for McDonald's customers to contribute to the essential needs that our families have while staying in our four Twin City houses, as well as an opportunity to provide toys and gifts to the kids that we are serving during the holiday season. You know, every year it's important to help families going through medically challenging times. What is the need this year? Well, the, the need, you know, you can hardly even comprehend that your child has a life-threatening serious illness or injury and put a pandemic on top of all of that. So it has been an incredibly challenging year for our families who are handling this so gracefully. But the types of things that we need in the house are like what every business and home is using, hand sanitizer. We also have free laundry facilities, so laundry detergent, dryer sheets, um, food items, um, and different kinds of toys like yard games and Legos and anything unicorn, Minnesota sports theme gifts. Those are the things really that our families would appreciate. Really a wide variety of things. Um, where can people drop those items off? So they can drop them off at their local McDonald's on Saturday today and Saturday the 19th and Tuesday the 22nd. Um, the Saturday is between 10 and 2 and on Tuesday between 4 and 7 o'clock. Great way to give back. How are those donations distributed and how do they impact these families? So we actually, for all the gifts, we set up uh, an area where people can choose gifts. They make an appointment with us and they have time to go through and get gifts for their kids and for their families. And then we have staff who wraps them and will distribute them. And um, that's you know really how it works. It's just sort of a, an organized day of, of doing good and really showing that we're not forgetting the holiday season, even though they're going through probably the worst experience of their lives. Right. Thank you, Jill, and thanks for sharing how other people can join in in doing that this year. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks.